Where's good lighting? There's no good lighting in a parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> There's never any good lighting. Hello everybody, Tristan Universe here. I'm tired because it's 6 in the morning, which I'm sure Don will do something with. I have to rush this intro, but I just wanted to say that um, I'm going in for my top surgery, so I'm going to vlog it, and it's going to be great, but um, I'm really excited and also horrified. It's a big moment for me, so yeah, I'm going to leave the intro just at that because I don't have time because we're late. It is 9.30 in the morning. Tristan has been in surgery for roughly an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, absolutely, hour and a half left to go. Ariana, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Did you enjoy the breakfast that we had? I did. If you had to, if you had to rate the breakfast. On a scale of what? Like, one to yum. Hot jokes on you. Yum was a five, so you're saying it was delicious. Oh my god. Boom, got him. That's terrible. It's been about an hour since we last checked in. Oh Probably more god. than an hour. Wait, wait, wait. I just disappeared. <laughs> if I get into the sun. <laughs> uh, since it's been about an hour. Um, Probably more, but we've just been sitting around. But what's the news, Ariana? He's in recovery! Yeah, you made it! Yay, he made it! He's alive! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we actually get to go, like, see him. Although I feel like he probably won't want me to film that. He also probably won't want to film He's gonna be so out of it. He's gonna, gonna be like, don't take me home. <laughs> <laughs> so the moment we finished filming, uh, the doctor came, and Tristan did it. He's, he's all good. He's out. He's fine. He's and great. Alive. He's alive. Which is awesome. Who would have guessed? So I guess now we just go get meds for him and get him and see if he wants us to film him yet. Yeah, we gotta wait about an hour. And then we'll pick him up and see if he wants to be on camera. <laughs> I totally don't. He will. He will. I mean, yeah, he'll want to, but I'll also totally understand if he doesn't. He's gonna want to. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hi, everybody. I'm out of surgery. I've woken up quite a bit. I'm feeling okay. I'm a little nauseous. Probably because I drank all the water that I'm trying to drink, but I just want water so bad. I don't feel very loopy or anything, but like, yeah, I'm doing good. And I don't have tubes, so that's exciting. Because I don't have to deal with it, it's one less thing I have to worry about. So, that's super cool. I don't really remember anything that happened, so that's good. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it was so hot, I was like, I need to take off my socks. So I took off my socks, and then they gave me a fan, and it's really nice. It's just blowing under the covers. It feels real good. I have a throw up back. Thought I was gonna throw up, but I didn't. Now I feel better, actually. It's probably the water, I was probably drinking it too fast. Water's the, water's the devil. I'm out in the car, there's Duncan. Ariana's driving home. I'm uh, low-key disappointed that I didn't say anything dumb and that I'm functional at the moment. <laughs> um, but realistically, it's like no one ever. <laughs> realistically, I might get more dumb when I take like the drugs. So, like the pain medication. So that's that's something. That might be a thing. But I don't know. That was it. I did it. I, I did it, and um, 
I just don't want to feel nauseous anymore. Let's go on some roller coasters. Yeah, that's a great idea. I was thinking Six Flags to celebrate. I still got my throw up bag. The nurse was like, sometimes the best thing to do is just to let it out. And I was like, well, I don't really have anything in my body to let out, so. <laughs> it's just water. Yeah, it was like. Oh, that's yeah. Because I was like, the last time I ate was at like. No, I didn't even eat. I drank a smoothie, which comes out through my pee. I'm gonna film like this because uh, my arm is tired. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to speak that much in my age, so maybe I'll speak again when I get home, but I did it, and I feel okay. Um, I'm not really having any pain right now. Fucking knock on wood, because watch me now that I said that. It comes back to bite me in the ass. Uh, I get car sick really easily, so this drive home will be fun. I don't know what else to say, guys. I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm really excited. Now I have to deal with my binder being on for like a week. And then I come back and then I get it taken off and then... Yeah. So, I'm really excited I don't have tubes. Oh god. Oh, no. oh god. So sorry. I'm going around a turn. This person behind me is like, why are you driving like this? We need a baby on board sticker. Baby on board, baby on board. So I'm gonna go for now, but yeah, I love you all. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. I don't know what to say. Today is day two, I think. I think this counts as day two. Yeah. It's day two, and I look awful, and I'm a mess. Um, today I am no longer nauseous, and that's good, so my head also doesn't feel like it's spinning as much, however, uh, the pain has started to kick in, so I've been going in and out of, like, bursts of pain all day, um, but it's okay, because it's not that bad, and the medicine that they gave me is keeping it down. But, I don't know, all I've done today so far is sleep, pretty much. I like, I woke up at like 10, and I watched Master Chef for like 6 hours, and then I think I may have fallen back asleep for a little bit, maybe, I don't remember, and then I watched Marie Kondo for like 3 hours, and then I fell back asleep, and then I've been sleeping all day, and I woke up like an hour ago, and then, I don't know, I'm gonna probably eat some food, take my medicine again, and realistically go back to sleep because my medicine makes me tired. How would I describe the pain for people who are wondering? Um, I don't know, it doesn't feel like any, like any kind of pain I felt before. Mm. I feel like more than anything, it's like just irritation. Like it's just annoying. It's not like I'm, like, in tears because it hurts so bad or anything like that. I feel like it's literally just, like, you're aware of what's going on and it feels hot. Mm. Like, it feels warm. Like, I'm being burned, kind of. Like, that's, like, the closest sensation I can compare it to, I guess. Occasionally it feels like I'm being stabbed. E. What? Hello everybody, it's me. This is day number three and I'm attempting the bird box challenge. So you can see I have my fashionable thing on... It's not even on your face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have my fashionable thingy on my face and um... Yeah, so I'm gonna do the bird box challenge now. I don't know what that means. I'm just kidding. I have such a bad uh, migraine that I need to wear this because the light hurts. Everything hurts. It hurts just to shut my eyes, so that sucks. But that's my update for today is that I have a really bad headache.
which is causing me to be nauseous again. You can hear people screaming in the background. Because the My Hero Academia movie is playing in the background. Okay, goodbye. Hello. I'm disgusting. My nose itches. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Get, that looks weird. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. I don't know what else to say. Um, it's day four. And... I'm over it. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. My back is itchy. Uh, I feel gross. And my binder thingy is tight. To the point where it's hard for me to breathe. So I'm consistently dizzy. I don't know if those are two things that are related. But that's how I feel. So. What else has happened? I'm also overly emotional. And I've cried multiple times. Which I haven't done in a long time. So that's interesting. Considering the body part that I got removed. It makes sense. I guess. According to what I was reading on the internet. But not everything is true on the internet. Today my pain levels are not super bad. I feel okay. Um, I feel like I'm struggling more with like the uncomfortableness, uncomfortability. What's the right word? I'm struggling more with being uncomfortable in the binder rather than like the actual pain itself. But I, I would imagine that that's probably common. Yeah, it's just that and like not being able to breathe. Those are like the two most irritating things. But like the pain itself isn't bad at all. I don't, what else should I say? Today I did nothing. I watched MasterChef. Like I've been doing every single day. I drew a little bit. I have a really bad habit to hunch my back. So that's gonna be interesting. Once my binder is off, how that's gonna affect me. I'm sure my back's gonna hurt really bad for a while. Yes. I'm trying to think of what else is important to capture. What else should I talk about? There's Ariana. Wow. The other thing that I've been dealing with a lot is... It's interesting because this whole thing is to, like, help with dysphoria and help, like, make me feel better or whatever, feel more comfortable in my body, but like, I've literally never had more dysphoria about like my chest than I have the past couple of days, which is interesting. Um, it's probably because there's just so much emphasis brought to my chest and like I'm made like very like hyper aware of everything that's going on and my phone wasn't on silent, how unprofessional. Um, but I'm, like, made hyper-aware of everything, and then, like, everyone's talking about it, and, like, all of that, so it's, like, it's made my dysphoria really bad, or it's caused me to have, like, really bad dysphoria, um, and I've gotten really, really uncomfortable, and that's, like, another one of the hardest things that I've had to work through, um, but yeah, other than that, I'm gonna wash my face for the first time, and I'm really excited. Ariana's gonna give me a face mask. So, that's gonna feel really nice. Stop. Stop it. I love you. I love you too. Oh my gosh, it's first person POV date with Tristan Universe. Oh my god, stop. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Hey guys, what is it? It's day six. I didn't record yesterday, so, um, uh, sorry about that. I didn't record yesterday because I was dying, so, day five was definitely the worst day that I had. I don't even remember what happened. I just, I was having a lot of trouble breathing, um, because I'm pretty sure my binder was too tight, so I was having a lot of trouble breathing. And I didn't really sleep the night before because of that, and then I mostly just slept all day, and I dealt with a migraine all day, the day, the like parts that I was awake, and it was just not good. It was really, really bad. 
Um, it was rough. Uh, let's see. I did realize that on top of everything else, I was probably having withdrawals to caffeine because I'm someone who drinks a lot of caffeine. And I hadn't drink any, so... And I know that because I normally get withdrawals from caffeine if I go too long without having it after, like, extended periods of time of having it. Um, just going cold turkey. I drank some caffeine and then I felt better, so... Placebo effect? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Who cares? But anyway, on to day six, which is today. Today was a really good day. I think it was my... my best day by far. Um... I'm in a t-shirt. It's a big t-shirt, so it's really big and baggy, but I was able to get into a t-shirt. But today, I woke up... What are you... Why are you laughing? Because you made it into a t-shirt. Hmm. And... I don't remember what I did. I woke up, I had some tea, and I washed my face, and I washed off my body in the places that I could wash off with my little cleanser thingies. Um changed my clothes, put on a fresh pair of clothes, and I felt good enough to take a walk outside, so I took a walk outside and I went to the Dollar Tree, and that was really nice to get to walk outside. I was really tired by the time I got back, so so it definitely took a lot of me to, to do that, but I still did it, which was great, and it felt really good to be outside, because it's really nice and sunny, and it's beautiful outside. Now I'm in kind of a lot of pain at the moment, but that's okay. I'm gonna get in bed now and I'm probably gonna go to sleep, so hopefully my pain medicine kicks in soon. I feel like my sternum is very much bruised, so that hurts a lot. It hurts to breathe, as I keep saying. That's pretty much all I have to say, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and sign off for tonight, but tomorrow's day seven. Thanks. Hello, I am in the car. I also have a man bun, and I hate it. My hair is gross. I feel disgusting, but I washed my face today, so that's a that's a start. It's raining outside, but yes, this is my first car ride, and we're going to my first post-op appointment. That's exciting. I'm gonna get my bandages taken off when I get to see what my titties look like or lack there of titty. I have a really big fear that my nipples are gonna fall off because that's been the, the running joke for this week is that my nipples are just gonna fall off. Um, let's see, what else? I didn't record yesterday, I forgot to, but I didn't really do anything. I just, I literally just sat and, uh, oh, I just sat and drew for like, really all day and then continued to watch MasterChef. So yeah, I don't think yesterday was very interesting. I felt okay. Like pain-wise, I didn't really have any pain. Oh, yesterday was the first day that I didn't need to take like my painkillers all day, so that was cool. I think I took one like... I took one when I woke up and then like I took one like when I went to sleep at like midnight or something. So, instead of taking four like I had been taking, I was just, hey, I just took two, so that's cool. I'm trying to think of what else I need to talk about. I don't know, I'm heading to my post-op appointment, I'm really excited, and, uh, I don't know, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Sorry, the camera's all over the place, this, this road's really shitty. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. So, I'll report back after my appointment. Just wanted to let y'all know what was going on. I said that I would check back in um, after my 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 post-op appointment so here I am doing that thing I said I was gonna do it went well I got my bandages taken off and that's really exciting um, I'm able to shower now so that's exciting um, I got to see what at least my incisions look like, and then later when I take a shower, I'll get to see what everyone else, what everyone, what everything else looks like. Um, because I was like laying back while he was doing stuff, 
It was really weird, because, um, I obviously have no feeling that's normal, but I have no feeling there, and it was just weird. I don't even really know how to explain it, it just feels like when you, when you get a cavity filled, trust me, I've had many cavities filled, but when you get a cavity filled and your face is numb, and, like, you can, like, feel that something's touching your face, but, like, you can't actually feel it, you just, like, know that something's happening, and that's, like, what it was with my chest, and that was, it was such a, it was such a weird feeling, but that was my experience. Now, my incisions don't need to be covered, but my, my nipples still need to be covered. I'm allowed to shower, and I have another appointment in two weeks, so, I don't know, pretty easy recovery for me. I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky, and I can't wait to shower and wash my disgusting hair and dye my hair and cut my hair and do everything because I feel like a gremlin. That's pretty much my update for today. I'm just gonna keep relaxing um, and not really doing anything, which has been so nice, and I'm gonna have such a hard time transitioning back into being a functional human again. Yeah, so I'll be out of school for the next week and I'm not gonna go back to work for another week. But I just wanted to, that was my update. <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys on what was, what was going on, so, yes. Cool. I'm gonna go do fun things now. Goodbye. I'm gonna see my nipple for the first time. I don't know what my nipple looks like. That's a really weird sentence. But I'm gonna take this off and see what my nipple looks like, and I'm really scared. What if it falls off? What if it's gross? It's gonna be gross. I'm really scared. Just do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like nerve wracking. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Ew. Ew, it looks nasty. <laughs> Ew. Whoa, they really took your nipple and like did something crazy with it. I like don't even have a nipple anymore. Wait, that was the part that he was like, what do you think? I was like, that's crazy. And he was like, well, that's not the reaction that you want. But I'm like... Well, I like don't have a, it literally doesn't even look like I have a nipple. That's like a burn, like a rash or something, and it's just gonna go away, and I'm not gonna have a nipple anymore. What's crazy is like the areola. I understand how it's gonna heal, but like the actual nipple looks wild. Am are my nipples in it? No. Okay, good. Um, then I can talk about things. Um, I feel like my incisions are very straight, and that's like not. I mean, some people get it like that. I feel like that's not what I was expecting for mine. I guess because I told them like. I don't know, I guess I didn't tell him anything, I just, I feel like I wasn't expecting them to be, like, straight across. I'm not, like, upset about it or anything. I'm just, like, interesting. I feel like my nipple is just so close to my incision line, too, that I'm, like, I don't know. If the scar gets, like, big, then I'm, like, is it gonna run into my nipple? I can't even believe this is my body. My nipple looks disgusting. It literally looks like it's molding and that's making me laugh. <laughs> How is it to have your nipples so far apart? Ew. Uh, I'm, t I'm messaging Duncan right now and telling him that my nips look disgusting. They literally just look like they're molding. It's so weird. Well, that's cool, I guess. It's crazy that my body looks so much different than, than it did before. So that's what I have to say. Nice. It's been forever since I have touched the camera. Basically, I just wanted to do a little bit of an outro, um, and I wanted to talk about the second week of recovery and stuff. As you can see, my hair is dyed, so I got it cut and dyed, and that feels nice. Pretty much the second week, I think I filmed right after I got back from my, um, my, my, my post-op appointment, and I don't know, not much has changed. Everything's healing. I'm able to do a lot more things. I've been out in the world, I've like walked around and I've like gone to do stuff and then I also 
today I went out without my binder on, so that's nice, because I feel free and it feels nice. Um, everything's real itchy, but that just means it's healing, so that's good. And other than that, like, I don't know, my ribs are really sore. I think that's probably from the binder and from sleeping in it, and I'm getting really restless not being able to sleep on my side. So, I keep trying to turn on to my side <laughs> when I'm sleeping. Other than that, I don't think much else has, like, really changed. As I said, everything's healing, everything's going good, and I'm functional again. Today I drove for the first time since I got my surgery, which is really weird, because, like, I have to, like, keep my both of my arms on the wheel. I mean, both of, both of my hands on the wheel, but they have to be, like, really low, and I have to, like, awkwardly, like, shift it. I'd like to make more videos on this in the future and talk about, um, some other things and all of that and some more of my experiences, but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and end this video um, so Duncan can edit it, and that sounds good. So, as always, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I know it's kind of different from what I normally do, but I thought it was a fun video and I'm sure that I'll like to look back on it, so if, if anything, it's a video that's for me, so I have this documentation. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'm ready to start this next chapter in my life, where I can exist as a human and not have to injure myself by wearing a binder anymore. Comment if you liked this video, I guess. Do stuff that you normally do. But anyway, this is a weird and awkward in outro. I don't remember how to film YouTube videos anymore. So I'm just gonna go, because uh, I want to eat food. So, yes. Um, thank you guys once again so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.